Hi, I'm Denise Crosby, and you're watching TDC Moncton. Hey folks, it's Nick and Mitch. Hola. It's 11.10 p.m. and we've just come out of the Black Swan showing, starring Natalie Portman as her, herself uh, as Nina. Also, uh, in the film, we also had uh, a few other notables that... Uh, Mila Kunis. Mila Kunis, for one. Um, Vincent Cassel from uh, French acting fame. Yes, forever. Uh, Nona Ryder. Winona Ryder had a very big part, but she had one nonetheless. Yeah, but what a big part. What a big part, yeah. What a bloody big part. Yes. Now, this movie is not for all ages. We're telling you that right now. They have mature sexual themes uh, in the film. Which I have to admit, I enjoyed very, very, very much. And now very that much. he's creeped us away from everything, we'll resume You guys who've had crushes on Natalie Portman for years, when you see this movie, you'll know what I mean. Oh my god, what a perfect ass. Yeah. Anyways, that said, sexism aside, or uh, sex aside for the actual movie, um, it is to be noted that Natalie Portman, and this is what Mitch has researched, uh, actually has... She trained for a year yeah. in dance, in ballerina dance, before doing this movie. And if you actually pay attention to the closing credits, there's no credit for a double. Because when she's dancing, it's actually her. Yeah. And it was actually pretty bloody, bloody impressive. Yep. And your figurine's right there. To, to get a shot of that. Oh, sorry. Oh! That, that has nothing to do with the review, it's just it's for AD&D. Uh, that said, the actual fact of the matter is that this movie is worth the re uh, the payment for the oh, tickets. Oh, hell yes. Uh, there's not one part in that movie that I was actually bored out of my mind. And which... it's not actually even really a chick flick. No, well, it wasn't supposed to be a chick flick. No, it's something no. that we already knew was a little bit but, uh, off the beaten path. Yeah. But there were only a handful of guys in there, so a lot of women seemed to think it was. But I think the guys had more fun than the women. Well, either way, this is the result of a movie if you take the Fight Club and mix it in with a ballet movie. That's the best synopsis I can give you. It's worth it. And it's actually, uh, the ending is quite surprising. It's rare that we actually finish a movie like that and we end up being satisfied with such an ending. It's rare that a movie ends is like... Yeah, that's pretty much how me and him reacted, but he does it better than I do. So, with that, <laughs> with that said, folks, Go see it. Don't wait, but please, if you've got, if you're bringing your children, it is something very mature. It is not meant for kids whatsoever. No, far from it. In fact, it's uh, probably a, a rated R film. It is. Yeah, rated R. So you bring your kids into it, people are going to be calling you a, a sick son of a bitch, a pervert, uh, what, or and your kids are going to be asking you a lot of awkward questions. What are you, what are you doing with his pee pee? Uh, nothing that grandiose, folks. He's over exaggerating, but trust me, it's not soft porn. Uh, Anyways, I, 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 just, I just love to actually hear that in, 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 in a theater in the sometimes. Theater. Daddy, daddy, why, 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 why is she playing with his pee pee? Yeah, okay. Happy. Dear God, I'm gonna have to house train this guy. Anyways, from both me and him, we give you two thumbs up. Go see it. Have a nice one.